the vector offset constraint allows a point to be placed on a vector that passes through two points infinitely to either side of the two parent points. So in this example here we have a parent 1 and a parent 2 and if we imagine a vector that passes through these parents and extends infinite out in either direction we can define our points and any other component to fall directly on that line or offset to the left or to the right of that line. To do that we will right click on point 1 and add a vector offset constraint between parent 1 and parent 2 and if we define a value of 0 feet it will fall directly on the line. You can see that point 1 has moved up onto that line. If we do the same for point 11, change the vector offset between parent 1 and parent 2 and a value of 0 again will place it directly on that vector. Now as we move either point parent 1 or parent 2 we'll see that the component no matter where point 1 and point 2 are the component will stay on the vector between those two points. And a common example of this is a subgrade component in a super elevation if you want it to stay at a same slope relative to the segment that's going to be super elevated or you might have a case like this where you have some sidewalk component that is going to be a part of an in condition and the in condition might be change in slope uh, based off of the target that it's seeking. If we right click and edit the point again we can show that a positive value in the value field is going to make the component or make this point be offset to the right uh, of the vector. The right meaning from parent 1 to parent 2 this will be a foot to the right. We'll hit apply and close. But we'll notice that if we go from parent 1 to parent 2 then the right side of that line we have a, a one foot offset here. And if we change this point to a negative offset that'll go to the left defined by the direction from parent 1 to parent 2. So we'll change this to a minus 0.5 hit apply and notice that that will move up above the line. 